Hello and welcome to my IGCSE prediction video for the 0580 and 0980 course for November 2021. So I'm going to go through my paper 4 predictions. Let's get started. Okay, so let's look at my paper 4 predictions. Again, I'll work in a similar order to my paper 2 predictions. So I'll first talk about my topics and notes, then the often topics that appear are roughly between 50 and 75% of the time, and then finally my almost certain category. A couple of things I want to point out. So coordinate geometry does come up on paper four occasionally, um, but it's much more common on the paper two. So please do check out the paper two prediction video. But if it doesn't come up, and there's only a few, you know, it can be a few days between paper two and paper four, then make sure you do revise it as a paper two topic. Venn diagrams does come up occasionally, but it's often linked to probability. And I've put a couple of other topics here. I've noticed density itself had a reasonably big question here, about eight, nine marks. That came up in March 2021. So please be aware of that. And my often topics. So you can see they're all roughly around the same frequency between seven, six, and five out of 11 papers. First of all, functions. So make sure you can work with composite functions, inverse functions, and also working out, for example, f of two of x minus three. So substituting that into a function. So make sure you can do that too. Transformations tend to be more on the describing transformations kind of questions. So make sure you, if you're doing a rotation, for example, you identify 90 degrees clockwise center of rotation, for example. They less often actually get you to do the transformation itself. Sequences comes in usually a table format where you have to work out a variety of different sequences, linear, quadratic, and occasionally cubic as well. So watch out for that. If you're aiming for the higher grades, then you may need to revise that. Plotting function has always been a favorite of 0580, uh, less so as you can see in the very recent papers, but generally it follows a very similar structure. So do a table of values, you draw the graph nice and smoothly, of course, and then a little twist they sometimes do is either get you to work out a tangent of a particular point, so you have to draw a line that just hits the point, or they will get you to draw a straight line to work out certain solutions. So there's lots of questions out there like that, make sure you revise that as well. Vectors, so essentially the basic vector knowledge, so how to work with the operations on vectors, the magnitude of a vector, Pythagoras, and also vector algebra, splitting the line up by ratios. 3D trigonometry, again, similar to paper two in terms of frequency, know how to work out an angle within a 3D shape, so going from bottom corner to top corner, for example. And circle theorems, as you can see, comes up quite often. Uh, some of these topics are, if they appear on paper two, they're less likely to appear on paper four. So do keep that in mind. And my almost certain category, which I'm sure is what you're going to be looking at, uh, sine and cosine rule comes in at my number one. And the great thing about this topic, I say to my students, even on the 0607 course, is the questions are usually pretty similar. So they give you some kind of big shape split into two triangles. And then at that point, you need to use the sine rule or cosine rule to work out various angles and various sides. Sometimes they wrap this up in the bearings question as well. Um, and then these two categories are kind of made for this particular prediction, numeracy and algebra skills. Now, uh, generally the numeracy skills are literally question one. And this can include, for example, doing some basic calculations on your calculator, but uh, over a worded question, uh, ratios often pop as well, so splitting things into ratios, simplifying ratios, etc. So make sure you've got your numeracy skills secure. If you want to revise those, look at the question one of the last 11 paper fours. Algebra skills, these always tend to be pretty similar. So solving linear equations, solving simultaneous equations with and without quadratics, simplifying algebraic fractions with factorizing. If you've gone through my paper two video uh, where I go through the predictions, I identify a lot of these skills as well. So if they don't appear on paper two, you've got them for paper four. Um, one thing that's quite common to paper fours is volume and surface area questions. So working with 3D shapes, uh, this can combine a few other topics I've mentioned. So 3D trig and similarity as well. But generally they give you the formula you need actually in the question to sort of guide you on what to do. Differentiation is becoming more popular. Um, and it's also a pretty standard question and also towards the end of the paper. So you usually to find stationary points from a function, so you need to differentiate, make it equal to zero, and then work out what kind of stationary points they are. Again, these are great marks to get because it's quite a difficult topic, but the questions are pretty standard. Percentage calculations, so this is, again, pretty standard. Also paper two, so working with reverse percentage change, compound interest, 
exponential growth and decay, so make sure you know how to work that out with your calculator. And quadratics are separated into a separate section here, because as you can see, it comes up 7-Eleven papers and often integrate into algebra skills as well. So know how to complete the square. If you have no idea what that means, then please do check out my video you see above. Create a quadratic from a word or geometric situation. So they give you a situation where you have to add some sides together and make it equal to something, and that will generate your quadratic. And don't forget, of course, stats. Stats always comes up regardless, paper two, paper four. And generally, um, on paper four, community frequency diagrams are a must to learn. They come up the most often. Uh, box and whisker diagrams also do, but similar skills in between those. And of course, working out estimate of means is always a common topic, regardless what paper you do. And lastly, probability, which is one of these sneaky topics that appears in other ones. So Venn diagrams, for example, it can appear. Statistics, it can also appear as well. Um, just know how to do tree diagrams and know how to work with Venn diagrams also with probability as well. So, hope you enjoyed that video. I've tried to keep it concise so you know exactly what you need to do for the paper four that's coming up in about a month's time from the release of this video. All right, see you on the next video.